the life of Ed Millett and how he spends his millions. Many people today are doing their best to become successful in their endeavours. However, Ed Millett is a man who has made himself relevant in various spheres of life and is teaching people around the world how to be just as successful. He is definitely a stream of inspiration and because of that, Ed never seems to lack new inspiration. Ed Millett is a charismatic businessman who has a substantial fan base on social media. He is also a peak performance coach to some of the best athletes and entrepreneurs worldwide. However, Ed Millett was not always rich and wealthy. He came from a humble background that made him work twice as hard as his peers to get where he conceived possible. Ed Millett was born on the 27th of April 1971 in California. He was raised in a city in eastern Los Angeles called Diamond Bay, California. Ed lived with his parents and his three siblings. As a young boy, he was motivated by the positive traits his dad displayed. His father was a hard-working engineer who was dedicated to everything he set his mind to. However, Ed's dad had a drinking problem, which made his home quite dysfunctional. It was always a cause of worry what version of his father would he meet when he returned from work. Some days were better than others. Sometimes Ed's father would be fine for a couple of days, but whenever the booze hits hard, he would be an entirely different person who could not contain his behaviour. These experiences had a significant impact on Ed's childhood and he always wishes his father would stop drinking. But just like what he preaches, Ed used the circumstances around him for his growth instead of against himself. Ed noticed that whenever he got good grades, his father got really excited. He started putting more effort into his academics, hoping his father would stop drinking. After a couple of years, his father became sober and they have become best friends. In an interview, Ed recollected his father, giving him both the worst and best advice. His father always told him, no matter what the situation you find yourself in, always tell the truth. No matter how hard it might be, that was the best advice Ed ever received. On the flip side, his father also advised him to quit his company and conform to the norm of getting a job and becoming an employee. Ed said, thank God I didn't listen to his advice. With his effort focused on good grades, Ed was able to graduate from a high school in Diamond Bay. After that, he went on to the University of Pacific in Stockton, where he received a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications. During this time at the University of Pacific, Ed discovered he was a truly gifted athlete. Ed played baseball at the university as a Division I NCAA player. His future in baseball was almost a sealed deal. He garnered an impressive array of baseball accolades. These included three All-American nominations and top 10 all-time rankings in five different statistical categories. But just like most athletes, his career came to an unexpected end after he sustained a significant injury that shattered his dreams. It was a near-death experience for Ed, and after his recovery, he was not able to play baseball again. However, what sets Ed apart from many people is his dedication, a trait he most likely adopted from his father. He was not only dedicated to baseball, but also to succeed. After his recovery, Ed went back to his parents' house after receiving a hard punch from life. He had almost become a professional baseball player, and all he had built over the years came crashing down. He slipped into depression and lost all hope in life. This was around the time his father was working on a sobriety and had started attending an alcoholic recovery group. One day, Ed was called by his father. He told him someone from his recovery group had a job for him. He told him to go to McKinley. With no idea what McKinley was, Ed went over to get the job. When he got there, he discovered it was a campus for several disadvantaged boys. The boys included orphans and boys from abusive backgrounds and dysfunctional homes just like his own. He became the youth counsellor of those boys, a job he suddenly became passionate about because of his personal experience. His new job gave him a totally different perspective on life. His desire to be a professional athlete was replaced by a drive to serve other people. At McKinley, Ed worked with 10 boys between the ages of 7 and 10 years old 
and he became sort of a brother and a father to those kids. He was so engrossed with his newly found passion that he spent most of his time with the boys, including special holidays like Christmas and Halloween. In 1992, Ed joined the World Financial Group. The Duluth, Georgia-based company is a financial planning company that set Ed on a path of wealth and a successful career. With his excellent leadership skills and a capitalist mindset, Ed rose to the top very fast. In the space of a few years, Ed was already among the company's top marketing directors. Afterwards, he became the head marketing director of WFG. Ed later attained the top level position of director of field leadership. With such a job comes a lot of responsibility and a lot of dollar bills. By the time Ed was 40, he had an eight figure generating income. However, Ed did not acquire all his riches from WFG. He has established himself in many other aspects of life. He is invested in 25 startups and has several different sources of income, such as his podcast, which is rated as number five in the entire United States. Ed also has his hands in business coaching and consulting, along with other investments he's not keen on disclosing. All these put together place his net worth at $400 million. With so much money, it's only reasonable to wonder how Ed spent all that cash. Ed Millett owns three houses, but the most conspicuous is Ed Millett's famous Laguna Beach House. As a young boy, he and his wife used to walk on the beach near the house, and he always told her, one day, we will live there. He kept his word to her when he bought the house for $12.5 million. The residence occupies 8,065 square feet of living, accompanied by 12 luxurious bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. The house has a picturesque view of the ocean and beach. Ed also has three private jets, all of which are paid for in full. Having an Embraer lineage of 1,000E is no joke. This fantastic metal bird costs about $75 million. In an interview with Rob Moore, Ed confessed to buying a 68 Chevelle, not because he knew anything about it, but because people around him said, it's a badass car. In case you don't know, the 68 Chevelle cost Ed about $200,000. And that's not everything he has behind his garage door. In a post on social media, Ed listed some of his cars, and that list was pretty amazing. Among the vehicles parked in his garage are the Ford Raptor, Range Rover, Bentley Continental GT, Porsche Turbo, and the Ferrari 458 Italia. On average, none of these cars cost less than $80,000. With his current net worth of $400 million, Ed is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world. He is a role model for many people in various spheres of life. Ed is an excellent example of everything he preaches. At an early age, he was making a lot of money and kept improving his income as he grew. His advice to young people who were excelling in their careers is not to remain patient. I wake up, not every morning, I don't want to go to the gym, I go, Bella's wedding. So my standards are high because of my big old reasons. Ed is also not scared to spend his money on things that he likes. He also believes in maintaining a balance between a person's physical and mental well-being. In a bid to balance his well-being, Ed has a routine that includes prayer, physical exercise, and meditation. But with all these, Ed is an enthusiastic golfer. Part of his routine is visiting his golf club daily to get a couple of hours of recreation. We all know that a membership fee for his golf club is probably worth a pretty penny. Ed Millett has lived by a philosophy, Max Out, that has changed his life. The philosophy is all about using every opportunity available to you to be the best version of yourself. It is evident in his life that every chance he got, Ed maxed it out. From baseball to social media to his career in financial services, his book, Max Out with Ed Millett, shines a light on many experiences of how he maxed out in his life and how he helped others as well. Ed is a man that has built a legacy for himself and the best part of his life story is how he is eager to help others do the same. That's it. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, 
please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.